Welcome Ravens to this week's edition of ONW Now. I'm Tiaja Holt here with Lee Volker. We're bringing you inside the top events and things going on right here at Northwest. Did you know that every year Olith Northwest welcomes students from around the world? That's right. Cami Gibson met with two students who give us perspective on their new experiences. Many Americans don't really know how different our lives are than those of people in other countries. There is! It's like you have a thousand things of everything. We have like two kinds. Two foreign exchange students are finding out just how different it is. Catherine Standle is a senior from Norway. It's a lot more healthy country than America. We, yeah, the life is just like this. While Catherine is enjoying her time here, she had some fears. Not getting any friends. It didn't happen. <laughs> Catherine is not the only one going through these struggles. Senior Sofia Giulianelli is here from Italy facing the same problems, although all the fears she was excited to come. I like a lot how competitive are the Americans in everything they do. Life as a student in Italy is very different from here. At first I have school only in the morning and we don't have different classes, we have just the class with the same people for the whole, the whole year and for every year, always the same class. Both students are looking forward to a senior year here at Olathe Northwest. States are beautiful to see and visit, but I mean, yeah, I can do this experience only in one state, so yeah, I, I came here. For ONW Now, this has been Cami Gibson. Now back to the desk. Your first year at a new school can be overwhelming. At Northwest, students are excited to give advice and help new students with a smooth transition. Tiaja asked freshmen their top questions about high school. I asked freshmen if they had any questions about ONW and the seniors were kind enough to give me a little input. My name's Marley and my question is, is it true if you're a freshman that seniors always target you? Hi, my name is Demi and the answer to your question is no, we do not specifically pick on freshmen. My name is Jake and my question is, when are the home football games? Games are Friday night at Seaback, which is just right across the street. They start at 7 o'clock, so come out and support your Ravens. Hi, my name is Shireen. What's the best part of freshman year? My name is Marianne, and my favorite thing about freshman year was definitely the Friday night football games and getting to be in the stands um, and a lot of school spirit. Hi, my name is Maddie, and I want to know who your favorite teachers were. My name is Lauren, and the answer to your question is Mrs. Drippy and Mrs. Potter, because they are both very fun, energetic, very caring teachers, and they're very easygoing, yet they challenge you throughout the course. Thanks for watching. Now back to the desk. The girl, assistant librarian, was nominated by her fellow staff for an award of excellence. Sean McPartland has the story. Hi, Julie. I'm Cindy Von Felt from the Olathe Public Schools Foundation, and we're all here because you just won the Sarah Award. Congratulations! Yeah. Olathe Northwest assistant librarian Mrs. Pickerel was awarded the Sarah Award last week and was awarded with a prize of $500. It means a lot. It means that everyone here appreciates me, and that's a great thing. Mrs. Pickerel was nominated by some of the ONW staff for her award of excellence. For ONW Now, I'm Sean McPartland. Now back to the desk. Students planning to go to college have to take the ACT. Much pre preparation and studying goes into this test. Two seniors achieved a perfect score of 36. We sent Brooke to find out what it's like to get a perfect score and some test taking strategies. Most students dream of getting a 36 on the ACT. I just wasn't really thinking I'd get it. I was just expecting to get stuck at that 35 and end up living with that. For the first time in ONW history, that dream became a reality when students Connor Neal and Weston Harden achieved a 36 on the ACT. I agree. English in general, especially AP Lang, because you will be doing so many practice tests. Students often want to put off the ACT as long as possible, but this might not be always a good option. Don't put it off until the summer or even the fall. And if you're a senior right now, good luck. <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of messed yourself up there. <laughs> Our sports team has had a great start to the season. Let's take it to game day. Hey Ravens, welcome to game day Northwest. I'm Connor Gertis alongside Kyle Rink. Today we have recaps over golf, volleyball, and a story over a runner for the cross country team. First up, the girls golf team competed at the Falcon Ridge Golf Course against Olathe North, South, and East. Riley DeMauro has the report. 
With high expectations, the Lady Ravens golf team kicked off the 2015 season last Tuesday at Falcon Ridge. Those expectations were met when the ladies won the tournament with a score of 186 against the other three Olathe schools. Junior Rosie Klausner won the meet with a score of 44. Brennan James and Abby Julo took second and third with scores of 46 and 48. The Olathe Cup tournament started in 2004 and since then the Ravens have won the last six years in a row. Good job to the Lady Golf team as they took on two tournaments this past week. For game day, this has been Riley tomorrow. Now back to the studio. The Ravens soccer team took on Shawnee Mission South last Thursday. Parker Ralston was there. Number eight, Nick Kickbush. Number nine, David Boschma. Last Thursday, the Ravens had a great game against the Shawnee Mission South Raiders. The Ravens had a spectacular first half getting goals from Wyatt Fowler, Jack Cashman, and Tremaine Robinson. In the second half of the game, Jack Cashman scored his second goal of the night, and Charlie Holmgren had a great performance. Charlie made some great saves and finished the game with a shutout. The final score was 4-0 Ravens. This has been Parker Ralston, now back to the desk. The soccer team has a record of 3-2. Come support the team at Lawrence Free State. Another team that is starting off hot is the Lady Ravens volleyball team. They continued their fantastic start last week at Olathe North. Let's go to Tanner Holland with the report. This past week, the Lady Ravens took on Olathe East, Leavenworth, and Lawrence. The biggest game of the night was against rival Olathe East. The Lady Ravens won sweeping East with scores of 25-17 for the first game and 25-16 the second. The Ravens breezed through the matchups winning all three games. This has been Tanner Holland, now back to the desk. Keep it up, ladies. Our final story is over junior cross-country runner Brendan Dunwitty. Dunwitty played football last year and now runs for the cross-country team. Alex and Val have more. Last fall, Brendan Dunwitty was running routes with the football team. This fall, he's running miles with the cross-country team. I had been having concussion problems, and I always loved running, so I just made the switch. Concussion problems weren't the only reason Dunwitty switched. I pretty much run 24-7. Dunwitty's switch to cross-country has caught coach Tim Barnes' eye. Kind of letting him know that he's been looking really strong in practice, and that uh, I feel like our varsity team is kind of wide open. Dunwoody's main goal for the season is to make varsity. I've just been trying to keep up with the guys that have been proven varsity runners and have made it to state. While Dunwoody is extremely motivated, the road to varsity won't be easy. By the time they're a senior, might be running 50, 60 miles a week. I love cross country. and. Uh, Cross country loves me. For ONW Now, this has been Val Cartwright and Alex Gable. Now back to the desk. This week, Ravens. Now let's take it to a new segment called ONW Sessions with Cami Gibson. Hey, Ravens. I'm Cami Gibson here alongside senior Logan Contino. So, Logan, I heard you had a pretty exciting summer. Can you tell us about it? I had a very exciting summer. Uh, I got a scholarship to go to Berkeley School of Music and uh, I found myself musically. So what are your future plans for after you graduate? Uh, future plans, uh, just anything with music um, that I can survive off of. Um, so I heard you clearly have some musical talent. Can you tell us a little bit about it, like how you learned? I've been taking guitar lessons for nine years now. Um, and yeah, that's so could you play something for us? I, I could play something for you. That would yeah. be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Do something that's actually good. Can I sing? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. yes please. Sing. Sarah's friend, she lost her mind. She left him and made it look sexy now I fear you won't be far behind Thinking I'll be the next to leave I know I might be anxious But I'm still not crazy And I don't need another kind of green to know 
I'm on the right side with you. All right, thank you. For ONW now, this has been Cammie Gibson. Now back to the desk. Yes. Thanks, Cammie. For Tiaja Holt, I'm Lee Volker. Have an awesome week, Ravens.